What's up guys, take care of the wrist here and for the next unboxing I think I'm gonna do the Curbius, I mean my bad, um, Rocktober R4 and Minibarus M4 dual pack. So this actually comes with zero disc, which is pretty cool. So we got the slingshockified wedge and needle, and then we got the layer which looks pretty bad. And uh, green, um, Minibarus M4, Minibarus M2 actually, but they just renamed it and uh, yeah, 11, no frame, unlike the TT one that does have a frame. And wedge S, and then zero and needle S. So yeah, Thorns X, Minoboros, and four in the back. So this is the defense type, and this is the stamina type. And here are these stats. If you want to read them, they are meaningless. But yeah, so I'm going to open it. So here are the bays. I'm first going to go over Ragnarok. R4. So here's the layer, and here's the TT one. So the big difference is, of course, they have no metal on them. So no metal equals a weak layer. It's going to be like a god layer, basically. Um, and the colors just aren't really the best on it. I guess they did okay. It looks pretty much the same exact colors, except here, and this is a little bit different. But they got the colors okay. The plastic is a little is about the same color and the wings are not there which is odd because this is a main gimmick in the anime. If you've seen it he like launches it and he has the stamina wings. But there's no stamina wings here. Next part is the disc, which is eleven. Um not really much to say about it, it's eleven. Here's the code if you guys don't have it. And the disc um, there's no frame unlike the TT one that gets come with a frame. So yeah it's kinda of disappointing. And the last part is the driver which is wedge S. So it has metal on there, and to activate the uh, slingshot mode, there's a tab here, you push it, and it has a spring in it, it seems like a spring, yeah it has a spring, and it goes down and it's like a metal giga hole flat, which is pretty crazy. And putting it together, the slopes are not that great on it, yeah they're not, they're pretty, they slide pretty well, not very good. Next is the uh, Minoboros M2, that's recolored, it's actually Minoboros M4. So here it is. It has some color here, which I didn't really expect Hasbro to do. Still has the um, looks like thorns right here. Supposed to be. Here's the code. Disc is zero. Great disc for like stamina. Um, great disc for pretty much anything. And then here's the driver, uh, needle S. So I don't really like the color. It's kind of like a, it's like a really dark blue metallic. So it's not it's not black or gray. And to activate the mode, you twist and then pull up. Okay, and then turn again. It looks really weird, like that. So yeah, put it together. Slopes are not very good on it either. Um, yeah, but this feels really weird. It's gonna make a lot of noise in the stadium, I can tell. So yeah, that's the two bays. Now I'm gonna do some test battles. I'm gonna do some battles in the normal mode and then switch to the. Slingshot Stadium and use the Slingshot Modes. Shock mode.
Would you buy these bays? I would say no because um, there's really no good parts because they're both like burst really easily. Uh, wedge even isn't very good. This one isn't maybe good, but um, 11 isn't good. The layer's not good. Uh, Mingoros isn't good. The driver isn't good. Zero is good, but you can get it a lot of other ways. The only real way you can get it would be wedge if you want to test it, but yeah, I don't really think it's very good. So I'll say pass this and get it if you're going for collection. Thanks for watching.